Hey, good morning, good morning. This is how the trucker Rudy starts his morning with a bowl of cheerio. Sometimes, anyways. <laughs> Maybe not all the time, but anyways, we're just getting ready to start our day. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. So don't go nowhere. Right after the intro, we'll be continued with the rest of the show. <laughs> that beautiful sun is coming up there that looks awesome it's a little foggy out here but very very little not by much by any means but okay here we are getting back at her again yeah we had us a good night's sleep had us a shower last night give the truck a shower and all that good stuff now we feel excited to get back on the road again I don't know about you guys but uh, I do get excited to go back on the road every once in a while you know yeah I'm pretty sure if you are a truck driver and you're watching this I'm pretty sure you feel the same way Every once in a while, you know, you feel excited to go and make some money and make some good miles. You feel excited to go on a trip, you know, just like some four wheelers, you know, like if you uh, plan to go on a road trip or something like that, you know, I'm sure you get excited every once in a while, you know. And that's how I feel today. I'm excited. I'm excited to go back out here and get some miles behind me. I'm very excited that I got my truck washed. That makes me feel good. Got the motor and everything washed. So she's looking very nice now. And the truck was looking very dirty. I would have probably shown you guys a before and after video clip but uh, it was kind of dark already when I pulled into the into the truck wash there so you would have would have not seen too much anyway so but here we are just back on the road again giving her so let's get some miles behind us and that's coming right along with the Trucker Rudy show today. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in Chicago area. We're still on I-90, but uh, in six miles, we'll be on 294. Yeah, I could actually go through the I-90 all the way through Chicago if I wanted, but I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. I think I'm just gonna go through 94, 294. Yeah, it's my favorite road pretty much. It's the way I like to travel and traffic is very minimum today so we can just cruise right on through here today. Yeah, that's the way we like it, right? At least I do. I love it this way. You know, we can just cruise right on through here. And no backup yet, as far as I can tell. <laughs> I mean, I've just been cruising all the time, you know? But yeah, the whole area is under construction and it has been for a long time already too. But uh, if we want to have a nice highway, we got to let them have it under construction, right? That's what I always say. But yeah, beautiful sunny day again today, that's for sure. And I'm loving it, really do. Time to downtown, 23 minutes to I-294, 7 minutes, according to that sign, so I don't know why I would say 7 minutes, I mean, I'm only 4 miles from it, so eh? I guess they anticipate a little traffic, and that's probably why, but yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and continue cruising along here, 
enjoying the beautiful sunny day today it's like plus 15 celsius right now well that's absolutely gorgeous not hot not cold although the sun is fairly warm when it shines into the truck but other than that it's just a gorgeous day i really do enjoy days like this it makes it worth washing your truck that's for sure this one guy was writing me a comment on my Facebook there saying oh rain and snow is coming well yeah it might be coming but at least I have a clean truck for a few days <laughs> yeah I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend as well I sure am having a good weekend yes indeed I am we'll make our way down Clinton, Massachusetts. Haven't even decided where we're going to stop for tonight, but we'll see where we end up, right? We got to take our half an hour break here sometime yet today, unless we decide not to drive that far. Oh, the truck's in the two left lane there. All right. Well, we'll do that here, I guess. Well, I don't think it's worth it doing it though, because uh, I mean, I'll be turning off here right away, so. There's a truck beside me right now, so I can't make my turn, so by the time he's past me and all that, I'll be coming up on the exit ramp anyways, right? Oh yeah, we got the uh, airport up here to the right. Yeah, it's, it's a little hard to see, I guess, but yeah, you got the antenna right up there. You might be able to see that, but yeah, this is the airport. There's a lot of planes going and coming from this airport, that's for sure. But anyways, we'll continue cruising and we'll see what else we will be able to show you today. Alrighty guys, we are now in Indiana. Yeah! <clears throat> we are actually on the I-80 right now. On the toll highway, yes indeed. That is 240 miles to go to uh, Cleveland, Ohio. And I was just thinking earlier, my goal would be to kind of try and get through Cleveland today. That would actually be kind of nice. Get through Cleveland there somewhere and, and then that way I don't have to deal with the traffic tomorrow morning. And tomorrow morning would be Monday, so... Uh, that way I will be through there and then I don't really have any more big cities to go through until I get to my delivery. Well, so we don't have no more, as far as I know anyways, there ain't really too much out there. I mean, yeah, there's Buffalo, but I generally don't have much of a backup there in Buffalo, so should be good there. But what a beautiful day, isn't it? Wouldn't you agree? I mean, I was talking to the wife there earlier and she's saying it's cloudy up in Manitoba right now. <clears throat> yeah, beautiful blue sky up here. I took a couple of pictures of my, uh, of my truck there when I was pulled over in the rest area there. Put them on Facebook for you guys and, and uh, also put them on my uh, Instagram account. So you can go look at them. Yeah. They actually look fairly good, in my opinion. <clears throat> yeah. But anyways, I just figured I'd give you another little update on what we're up to. It took my half an hour mandatory break there, so... Now we're good to go. I had me 402 kilometers in the books when I made my pit stop there, so... It's about another 400 kilometers up to Cleveland. So I figured, ah, that's about 800 kilometers go a little bit north of Cleveland there probably have about 900 kilometers in for today <clears throat> that'd be close to uh, well, I'd say about 550 maybe maybe closer to 600 miles today and then I can easily make it to my delivery even tomorrow if I want to you know but we'll see what we decide on but anyways <clears throat> Looks like it's uh, not as cold over here usually overnight as it's, as it's gotten at home. 
because over here the trees still got leaves on them and at home they are just about all done with all the leaves you know so that is looking fantastic over here beautiful colors <clears throat> that's for sure yeah tomorrow we'll be probably in uh, Pennsylvania New York and all of that you'll probably see some rolling hills and stuff so <clears throat> yeah probably be even in Massachusetts yet tomorrow night we'll see how it goes but that would be nice be at my delivery place tomorrow night that we were there ready for them and we'll see how it goes yeah guys we are now in Cleveland yeah I don't know what the GPS is screaming at me where it wants me to go but <laughs> I know where I'm going. Yeah, it's simple as that. I think it wants me to go down that local road, which I ain't doing. I'm gonna go continue on this expressway. Yes, indeed. But yeah, we are now in Cleveland, Ohio, and the sun is starting to disappear on me. A little bit anyway, so... Uh, so yeah, but I will be done for the day pretty soon too. Yep, just getting through Cleveland so that way I don't have to try and rush through here to the rush hour tomorrow. That's the plan as of right now. Keep to the right on I-270 and uh, 422 West, US 422 East, and then keep to the left. Any more RJ? I'm talking, come on. Anyway, so that way I don't have to go through here tomorrow morning in the rush hour, but... Yeah, I know, RJ, you're going to change your mind here pretty soon again. Yeah, pretty soon you will. Because I'm going a different way than you want me to go. And it's always... I'm always fighting with the GPS when I come through here. Every time it wants me to go down that I-90 and go through downtown Cleveland, which I'm never doing. Never done that and I never will. <laughs> yeah, I've been told that's not a good road to take, especially in rush hour. <laughs> yeah, well, anyways. Continue on this road for five miles. Here we are, cruising right on along here. Right lane ends in a quarter mile. All right, well, I guess then we'll just stay on this lane. Well, yeah, it's starting to get a little bit cloudy now, and hope we don't get any rain, but... Oh, well, if we do, we do, I guess. But as of right now, we are just in the clear of it. We had a beautiful day. It's been very nice and sunny, actually. But, yeah, I think we will be stopping here pretty soon, and then I think I'm going to be cooking me a stew. I would love to have me a stew tonight. I'm feeling like it. I was almost gonna do that yesterday and then I got kind of lazy and didn't do it but today I think we're gonna do it what do you guys think good idea or what I think so all right guys we are in the truck sitting here and cooking us a stew look at that guys yes indeed we are cooking us a good supper I would say so yeah watch later on you'll be hungry alrighty guys we are ready for supper the only thing is I'm gonna tell you right now if you don't have a hard stomach or a strong stomach turn this off right now <laughs> what I'm about to tell you most North American people wouldn't probably want to eat yeah so what do we got here is chicken gizzards and hearts stew that we cooked here now i know probably some of you are like mmm and some are like, yikes <laughs> yeah so anyways i'm gonna get me a good meal i hope you guys are grossed out or maybe some of you like it i know some of you do but not all of you right <laughs> Have a good one. We'll see you in a few. All right, guys. We had us a very good night's sleep. <laughs> yeah, it's actually the next morning now. So uh, 
but I did have me a very good supper indeed. There was nothing left out of that pot, that's for sure. But I hope I didn't gross you guys out too much. <laughs> but yeah, we're back on track again, I think. We're finally feeling better and truck is working good and all of that. So hopefully from now on we can be back on track on making some positive videos again, you know. For the last couple of weeks it's been really negative about the truck and everything. So uh, hopefully we can start turning that around and uh, have some fantastic videos for you coming up here in the future so we appreciate all of you guys sticking around through my tough time and let's look forward to a good time now so with that being said we'll see you right here tomorrow morning guys have a good one Behind me, that day is gonna come